All right, so why did you choose this book? So because Piggy thinks a lot of friends. Yeah, so you And like... it's pretty silly because Piggy forgets someone. Oh, so you And like... Gerald says that you'll forget someone. So this is a book you know? Yeah. Yeah. So because I have it at my school and I used to have it in my book box and I like didn't I know it, but I love it. Okay. You want to read it to me? Yep. All right. The Thank You Book by Mo Willems. Okay, do I have to read this for? Just where there's words. I have a lot to be thankful for. I, I had better get to thankfuling. I'm going to thank everyone who is important to me. Everyone. Everyone. No way, you'll forget someone. You will forget someone important. I won't thank everyone. It will be a thinkorama. 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 Well, off I go. Squirrels, Piggy, thank you for your great ideas. Oh, shucks. Smooth, Piggy, thank you for playing ball with me. Pigeon, thank you for never giving up. And I'm sorry you don't get to be in our books. Pigeon is nice, but you, but you will forget someone. I I will not. This part I do not like to read. Keep going. Mouths, bittery birds. Mm -hmm. I know hippos, big steer. Sister. Sister. Big bargy dog. Pigeon bear hippo mm -hmm. wardums. Is that all the names? Mm -hmm. Thank you all for being great friends. Aww. See that, Gerald? I'm... I am a thinking magician. Piggy, you have forgot someone important. Do not worry, Joe. My next thanks will be a big one. Good. Thanks, well, you are so you are nice. So are you. What did they will for? Ice cream, Piggy. Thank you for your ice cream. It's what I do. Doctor Cat, Piggy. Thank you for being a great doctor. You, you are welcome. Ben, Ben Bat, Brian. Brian Bat, thank you for drawing with me. That was fun. Piggy! Piggy! You are forgot, forgetting someone, someone very important. Ridley? Oh, now I know who you are thinking about. The flies! Thank you for cooking with me. Old time data? End time, dude. Not the fly, Piggy. I can't think of anyone else have forgotten to thank Gerald. Oops. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Elephant Gerald. You are the best friend a pig could ever have. That means a lot to me, Piggy. But I didn't not think that you forgot me. Who did forget to think? Our reader. You forgot to think our reader. You are right. Thank you for being our reader. We couldn't, we could not be us without you. You are the best. You did it, Gerald. Thank you, Piggy. Thanks to you. Yep, I am one lucky pig. <laughs> And that's the end mm. of the thank you book. Awesome. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this book. So this book is a very good book because he can, like thanks everybody. And I kind of like this book because it's like very nice. It's very nice. Was yeah, there a... and cute. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It seemed like you were smiling and giggling a lot. Was there a part you really liked in this book? Yep. Yeah. Oh. When... They said, thank you for being our reader. We could not be us without you. You are the best. Why did you like that part? So, uh, because uh, Piggy and Gerald were saying I was the best reader. Oh, uh, because they were talking to you? Yeah. Why do you think the author made the choice to put that part in the book? Well, I think Mo Willems did that with Elephant and Piggy. So, because he wanted to show, like... How much, wait, how much he, like, loved reading or stuff? Okay. So there's some that things that Mo Willem does to make sure the characters' voices sound different, and I could hear you doing that when you were reading out loud. Can you show me one of those pages where Mo Willems wrote the book so that you knew how to read it out loud? Well, I like the part where it was like, yeah. So in my voice was like a whale voice, like, you are too. Read that again. You are, so are you. <sighs> How did you know to read that like that? So, uh, because it was a whale voice. <laughs> like, thanks whale, you are the best. Oh wait, you are nice. Yeah, was there any other parts in there that Mo Willems made some choices? I want to read this again, Mommy. No, we'll read it again. Were there any other parts in here that Mo Willems made the choice to read, for you to read it in a different voice? Not. Nope. No. <laughs> what genre do you think this book is? What? What genre do you think this book is? What's like genre? fiction or nonfiction? Nonfiction. Why do you think it's nonfiction? Yeah, because Alfred and Piggy can't talk. Pigs and elephants can't talk. Does that mean it's nonfiction or fiction? Fiction. Fiction. I said fiction. You said nonfiction, but that's okay. I knew what you meant. So it was it's fiction because they can't really talk. It's a story. Anything else you want to share about this book? Did you make any connections to this book? Did it remind you of anything? No. No? Okay. 